mobility is not only about four wheels, it is a lot about two wheels, and this guy has a new cool product and service, Franz Salzmann of Lock8. Yeah. Thanks. It's all about sharing today, right? Um, so let me add to that. I just said hello to Daniel, who is my co-founder up there. He just came back from Mexico this very moment where we're setting up our production um, of, of our new product. Daniel is my, my co-founder. He's an engineer. I'm an economist. We both met at Oxford and uh, where we studied together. And guess what? Our bike got stolen there, which is really annoying. Everybody knows that feeling. And we found out after doing some research that most of the, peop most of the people have had that problem. Bicycle theft is a huge problem worldwide. It's an insurance damage. It's... Um, everybody who has a bicycle had it stolen at least once and, and people get fairly annoyed, but there are no good appropriate bicycle locks. Um, so Lock8 is the world's first smart bicycle lock that we've been working on. It is keyless, remote controlled through your smartphone, has an alarm system and a GPS tracker. With Lock8, well, the moment a thief tries to tamper with your lock, um, he triggers a 120 decibel loud alarm. Um, you receive a push notification to your mobile phone. If somebody tries to hammer off the device or saw it off or cut the cable, the cable is wired, you will also receive a push notification to your mobile phone. Um, we, think, we think bicycle locks today are really bad, and there's a lot of improvement for that. So, so we've really been working on building a very secure bicycle lock that, that we want to ship soon. Um, and what is our business model? We, so people will buy our lock, and you, you're probably wondering why we're here, because the topic is green smart cities. So we're not only selling a bicycle lock, but after building this, we found out you can do much more with this lock. You can share e-keys. You can rent out your bike. And uh, we can actually connect existing infrastructures and go to bike rentals. They get a lock eight put it on their bike, put the bike in front of their stores, and everybody, when the moment you arrive at the city, you click on the app and see whichever bike store, bike rental, hotel, hostel, whoever offers a bike for rent. You can click book a bike like just with car just like with uh, Car2Go or DriveNow and, uh, and be mobile. So what Lock8 can do is it can connect an existing infrastructure outside of... Barclays or Willip in France or Deutsche Bahn, uh, call the bike bikes in, in Germany, um, and, and really help the rentals, the hotels, the hostels to provide a platform where everybody gets access to a bike. Our target group is slightly different than, than uh, Barclays target group, for example. When you rent a Barclays bike, you go from A to B very quickly, you leave the bike there again. When you rent a bike on Lock 8, you probably take it for the weekend, you're in a city to do language course, you don't want to buy a bike, but you want to have a good bike, a nice bike, you can rent it. Um, you know where, you know where to pick it up, where you leave it. Uh, and, and we don't have the responsibility for bicycles. We don't, we don't want to be responsible like, like Deutsche Bahn is. Uh, we don't need to maintain them, we just provide the platform together with a very secure bicycle lock. That's what we do. And um, we are we're funded right now we have two large investors on board who we're going to announce within, within our campaign. And uh, we're looking for one more investor who is well connected in the mobility scene, who, who can help us go to the, particularly to the USA, where we want to start connecting cities who don't have a bicycle sharing scheme yet. And um, obviously, if, uh, if you want to write about us, journalists, we would like to give you access to our press room, to our, to our information press material so that the Kickstarter campaign uh, will also be successful. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you very much for your attention. And um, I look forward to answering many, many questions right now, probably. <laughs>
Yeah, okay. Cool question. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no problem. Uh, well, the answer is it's charged through induction. Um, so while you're cycling, you're actually charging the lock. Um, we included, uh, we will give you reflectors that have magnets, and through the magnets, you will charge the lock. Also, it, it has a USB jack, so you can take it off and charge it at home. But, yeah. It's nice. Like, if you're, if they're smart, like, thieves or people who buy, uh, take away your bike, then they take off the magnets, they wait for one week, and then... And then it opens up. And no, then it, it opens up and you can take it away. No, that's a software problem. It won't open up, so, but it'll block the moment you have uh, only 30% battery power left. You can open it up, but um, then it'll warn you. You receive a push notification that you have to charge it. Either you cycle around the block or you take it off and you, and you charge it quickly so that you, can that you can use it again. But that shouldn't happen. It won't run out of battery after one week. It'll run out of battery after a year or so if you don't cycle at all. So if you leave it in your cellar, you, just, you, you can check the battery level on your app. You can charge it overnight and then use it for the rest of the season. What if I park it somewhere where there is no connection, like in a um, Opening garage. and closing is, it works through Bluetooth, so you don't need to have GPS connection or GSM. Um, it, that works anywhere, and that's free of charge, obviously. F um, if you, however, want to locate your bike everywhere at all times because you, cause you get drunk and you don't find your bike anymore, then you have to pay for a subscription. <laughs> and uh, all services, uh, push notifications if you locate your bike, uh, services that cost us money, we will, we will have a subscription plan for that. Yeah. Okay, great. I really like it, and that's why I put into the program Airbnb for bicycles, because I think that is an ultimate vision for you, right? Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you thanks very now. much, and yeah. he here's your speaker gift. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. Cheers. <laughs>